Helicopter engineers have pushed boundaries with some truly unconventional designs, each born from the pursuit of greater lift, agility, or speed. With that spirit of innovation in mind, here are some of the weirdest helicopters still in service. Kamov Ka-26 The Kamov Ka-26 is one of the most unusual helicopters ever built, instantly recognizable for its twin coaxial rotors and boxy modular tail section. Developed in the Soviet Union during the 1960s, it was designed for light utility and agricultural roles, yet its appearance made it look more like a flying machine assembled from spare parts than a sleek aircraft. The K-26's compact frame, exposed steel truss fuselage, and lack of a traditional tail rotor set it apart from conventional designs. Instead, it has two counter-rotating rotors, each with three blades that cancel out torque and eliminate the need for a tail rotor, giving it excellent stability even in gusty air. Powered by two 325 horsepower Vedenayev M14 V26 radial engines mounted on short booms beside the fuselage, the K26 could reach speeds of about 105 miles per hour and a range of 250 miles. It could lift up to 900 kilograms, or nearly 2,000 pounds, of cargo or carry six passengers in its detachable rear pod. The pod itself could be swapped for specialized modules, a crop sprayer, medevac cabin, or cargo box, making it one of the earliest helicopters to utilize a modular system for mission flexibility. While it looks puzzling to Western observers, the K-26 was highly practical for the Soviet Union's needs. Its coaxial layout allowed compact operation from tight clearings and ship decks, and its robust landing gear handled rough farm fields with ease. The helicopter's quirky charm and mechanical simplicity made it easy to maintain in remote areas, where many remain in service to this day. With its exposed frame, bubble cockpit, and spinning twin rotors, the K-26 may not win beauty contests, but it embodies a distinctly Soviet approach to aviation. Function first, appearance later. Ericsson Skycrane The Ericsson S-64 Skycrane is one of the strangest-looking helicopters ever to lift off the ground. It abandons the idea of a full fuselage entirely, instead resembling a flying skeleton made of steel tubing and rotor blades. Originally developed in the early 1960s by Sikorsky as the S-64, the design was later acquired and refined by Ericsson, which turned the aircraft into a dedicated heavy-lift platform capable of feats few others could match. The Skycrane's open frame body and long, spindly landing gear are engineered to carry enormous loads directly beneath its rotor hub, including prefabricated buildings, vehicles, and even other aircraft. Powering this aerial giant are two Pratt & Whitney JFTD 12-4A turboshaft engines producing a combined 9,000 horsepower, driving a six-blade main rotor. It can lift more than 20,000 pounds of payload, an astonishing figure considering its stripped-down frame and narrow cockpit. The aircraft's top speed hovers around 115 knots, and it has a range of about 200 nautical miles depending on load and conditions. The cockpit, perched high above its spidery undercarriage, provides a clear view of the cargo below and a second rear-facing pilot station allows fine control during precision hovering operations. Its strange architecture serves pure function. The Skycrane's empty midsection allows it to grab modular loads, such as shipping containers or large water tanks, while its hydraulic cargo hook system can release or adjust loads in mid-air. In firefighting configuration, it carries a 2,650-gallon water tank with an extendable snorkel that refills in seconds. The helicopter's skeletal look might appear unfinished, but it is a product of deliberate engineering that prioritizes lift, visibility, and versatility over form. The sky crane remains a spectacle in the sky, a flying crane built for the toughest lifting jobs imaginable. Common K-Max The Common K-Max is one of the most unconventional helicopters ever built, designed around simplicity and lift efficiency rather than appearance. 
At first glance, it looks incomplete, with no tail boom, no traditional fuselage, and a body that seems barely large enough to hold a pilot. Its defining feature is its unique intermeshing rotor system. Two large rotors mounted side by side at an angle, rotating in opposite directions so their blades pass through each other without colliding. This odd mechanical ballet, a hallmark of Commons engineering, eliminates the need for a tail rotor and allows the K-Max to lift far more than it weighs. Powered by a single Honeywell T53-17, a turboshaft engine producing around 1,800 horsepower, the K-Max has a maximum speed of about 100 knots and can carry external loads up to 6,000 pounds, nearly its own empty weight of just over 5,100 pounds. Its narrow cockpit is sized for a single pilot, with large side windows providing excellent visibility for precision lifting. Every component on the helicopter is focused on utility, from the rugged skid landing gear to the thin, exposed tail structure that supports only the vertical stabilizer. Its strange, skeletal frame makes sense once in action. The K-Max was built for logging, construction, firefighting and military resupply missions, where pinpoint lifting matters more than comfort. Its ability to hover precisely over narrow mountain ridges or drop cargo in confined clearings gives it a reputation as a flying crane in miniature. The design also proved ideal for unmanned operations, and modern variants can fly autonomously in supply missions. The K-Max may look awkward and mechanical, but its intermeshing rotors and minimalist design make it one of the most efficient heavy lifters ever to take flight. Alauda Airspeeder MK4 The Alauda Airspeeder MK4, also known as the AVAXCEVTOL in some experimental references, looks more like a racing drone scaled up to human size than a traditional aircraft. Its design breaks nearly every convention of aviation, merging futuristic styling with a minimalist framework built for speed and vertical lift. Instead of wings or a tail, the AVAXC relies on eight rotors arranged on four booms extending from a narrow carbon fiber fuselage. This gives it a strange X-shaped profile when viewed from above, an appearance that blends the look of a quadcopter and a Formula One car. Built primarily from lightweight carbon composites, the aircraft weighs around 950 pounds and is powered by a 1,340 horsepower Thunderstrike hydrogen electric turbo generator system, capable of propelling it to speeds of more than 225 miles per hour. Its battery and turbine setup drives the electric motors while providing the quick thrust changes needed for vertical takeoff, hover, and high speed forward flight. The cockpit sits in a transparent bubble canopy with digital flight controls and a panoramic view, resembling a cross between a drone pilot's chair and a fighter jet cockpit. The design's oddity lies in its balance of simplicity and aggression. With no wings, propeller discs exposed and rotors positioned around a skeletal central body, it looks both futuristic and experimental. Its control system uses advanced fly-by-wire algorithms to maintain stability across all eight rotors, a necessity given the lack of conventional aerodynamic surfaces. The AVAXC's strange appearance hides a sophisticated platform intended for high-performance racing, testing, and potential future urban air mobility applications. It represents a glimpse into a new category of aircraft, one that hovers like a drone yet flies with the purpose and precision of a race machine, redefining what a flying vehicle can look like. Common HH-43 Husky The Common HH-43 Husky is one of the strangest looking helicopters ever put into military service, a machine that seems to defy aviation norms. Developed in the 1950s, it was instantly recognizable for its intermeshing twin rotors that spun in opposite directions, angled so their blades passed through one another without touching. This peculiar design, known as a synchropter layout, gave the HH-43 exceptional lift and stability without needing a tail rotor. Its squat, box-like fuselage, tall landing gear, and open rear framework made it look more like a mechanical insect than a conventional aircraft. 
powered by a single Lycoming T53L1B turboshaft engine producing around 860 horsepower, the HH43 could reach speeds of about 120 miles per hour and had a range of roughly 185 miles. Despite its modest size with an overall length of 46 feet, it could lift nearly 4,000 pounds of payload. The rotor's intermeshing configuration allowed tight hovering precision, which proved valuable for rescue missions in confined areas. Inside, the cabin could carry up to six people, while the wide doors and compact landing footprint made loading and unloading fast during emergencies. The Husky earned its reputation as a rescue workhorse for the U.S. Air Force, particularly during the Vietnam War, where it performed countless short-range extractions and crash site firefighting operations. Its unusual frame carried a foam fire suppression system, earning it the nickname Pedro among crews. Though it appeared clunky and overbuilt, every odd angle and exposed beam served a purpose, maximizing visibility, minimizing mechanical complexity, and providing stability in turbulent air. The HH-43's intermeshing rotors and utilitarian shape made it look like an engineering experiment that accidentally took flight, yet it proved to be one of the safest and most effective short-range rescue helicopters of its time. Kamov Ka-226 The Kamov Ka-226 is a small, twin-engine Russian helicopter that looks like no other, with a design so unusual it almost seems incomplete. It carries the Kamov family's signature coaxial rotor system. Two counter-rotating rotors stacked on the same axis, eliminating the need for a tail rotor. This feature gives it an instantly recognizable top-heavy profile, with twin rotor discs spinning above a narrow, angular fuselage that appears more mechanical than aerodynamic. Instead of a smooth, enclosed body, the K226 exposes much of its framework, giving it a skeletal appearance reminiscent of industrial machinery rather than a sleek aircraft. Powered by two Turbomeca Arius 2G1 turboshaft engines, each producing about 580 horsepower, the K226 can reach a maximum speed of roughly 155 miles per hour and has a range of about 370 miles. It can climb to altitudes exceeding 20,000 feet and carry up to 200 pounds of payload. One of its most distinctive features is its modular rear fuselage and an interchangeable pod system that allows quick swapping between passenger cabins, medevac units, or cargo modules. This modular concept, combined with the coaxial rotor layout, gives the K226 remarkable agility and compactness. It can operate efficiently from confined areas such as mountain ridges or ship decks where conventional helicopters struggle. The absence of a tail rotor reduces mechanical strain and increases safety in tight spaces, while the dual engines ensure reliability even in demanding conditions. Despite its odd proportions and exposed mechanics, the K226 is highly practical, designed for work in rugged environments where functionality matters more than appearance. Its strange shape and modular body make it one of the most distinctive helicopters flying today. A small but capable machine built for precision and adaptability in harsh terrain.